Welcome back everybody. Good Tuesday evening. It's been a long week here already looking at some of the rivers that are flooding the Sun River moderate flooding highway 200 uh, looking at water coming up over the road surface may be closed homes farms impacted the Dearborn River moderate flooding mainly across agricultural land right adjacent to the river there some cabins uh, right along the river may be flooded very very low lying cabins and 10 mile Creek minor flooding right now but uh, that water continues to rise Sierra Road and uh, some of uh, you folks that were impacted about a month ago could see uh, some water continuing to rise here. It certainly has come up from earlier this morning and all that water will take a little time to drain down uh, through the mountains into the lower elevations. That's why this flood warning aerial flood warning widespread across this area here. Lewis and Clark County and Teton County will go until 11 o'clock at the earliest. This may be extended because the water may not recede until a little later this week into this weekend and still a lot of Montana, including Fergus County, Cascade County, off the Rocky Mountain front to down through Broadwater, Jefferson County, Gallatin County into Beaverhead County under a flood watch. Rain still falling here for a lot of the area. You could almost kind of make out that center of circulation right to the north of the uh, Little Belt Mountains there. So uh, rain continuing to fall with the low pressure that is still spinning here, but the showers have broken up here over the uh, last couple of hours. Yes, still some moderate to occasionally heavy rain, but maybe not as uh, thick of a radar, so to speak, here uh, when you're looking at the precipitation shield and some nasty storms out over the southeastern part of the state. So there's our area of low pressure. The same storm that affected us yesterday, Monday, Sunday, Saturday, even into Friday. And yes, this is the same storm that tapped into moisture from what was Hurricane Bud and Tropical Storm Aletta. And it is also producing just a nasty severe weather out into Kansas, parts of uh, Nebraska into northeastern Colorado here. So it looks like we got a little issue with the computer model. Um, we're taking a little power hit here at the station, but uh, the wet weather will continue for the first day of summer. Here's a little closer look. This one doesn't want to seem to work either, uh, but I can tell you that the rain will begin to taper off after about midnight tonight. Until then, we'll still have a decent amount of rain, but after midnight tonight, uh, the rain tapers off somewhat. Tomorrow will be a drier day. We'll still have a couple of showers and then Thursday is the first day of summer. That's when we'll see uh, some good thunderstorms coming through that could rock and roll across uh, parts of the state here. Lows tonight 40s to about 50 degrees. Not that cold. And here's the forecast for Wednesday. Notice a couple little showers here. Not as bad Wednesday as far as rain falling, but the rain that has already fallen will continue to drain down through the lower elevations here and uh, the waters could continue to rise. Thursday, it's the first day of summer, 100% chance it's going to happen. Uh, the cold front will come through in the afternoon and that could kick off some pretty big storms. Missoula, Butte, around Helena, down through Bozeman, around Great Falls, off the Rocky Mountain front, making their way into eastern Montana late Thursday evening for Friday. Yes, scattered showers and thunderstorms. So the start of summer, very much like the stormy spring that we've had where we've got some wet weather around and look at these cooler temperatures for the first Saturday of summer here. Highs only in the 60s to about 70 degrees. So here's the seven day forecast. 76 tomorrow will be warmer. We will have also more sunshine, a couple of showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder in the afternoon. Thursday, likely that we see some pretty mean thunderstorms coming through around five, six, seven o'clock here. So uh, please be careful if you're going to be outside enjoying the first day of summer and the longest day of the year. No, it's 24 hours like the rest of the days, but it has the most daylight of the year. And then getting into the weekend, Sunday looks a little nicer than Saturday, some warmer temperatures. And for the Electric City, uh, still some Pretty heavy rain showers around here this evening. 74 though for tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. Maybe an isolated shower storm around Great Falls. For Thursday, storms likely blasting through the area in the afternoon and the evening. Friday and Saturday, a couple of more stormy days before we start to clear things out and warm things up Monday and Tuesday. Look at Monday, 89, sunny, southwest winds 25 miles per hour. That would be nice. That would have all sorts of alarms going off last year at this time as far as fire danger, but even though the fire danger will slowly be creeping upwards here. The rain, I know it's bad right now, has helped against the fire season. Definitely, it's like a catch-22. We're yeah. in a weird pattern right now, Curtis, thanks. Now, Andy, this rain in, uh, affecting you too? Yeah, wreaking havoc in the sports world. We've got a full list of which baseball games are canceled.